Hi, so I just finished teaching a vinyasa class here in uh, my home studio, aka my living room that we transformed. And I just wanted to share with you what the beginning of a class experience looks like and feels like. Um, so I thought I would just share maybe five to 10 minutes of the beginning of a class. And you're welcome to do it along with me or save the video and maybe do it later. Um, but it should be accessible. And um, let's get started. So we will start in a child's pose where you sink your hips back to your heels. Now you can leave the knees together. That would be a more traditional child's pose and you'll get a deeper rounding in your back. And then see if your forehead taps down towards the ground. And then the arms can extend back behind you. If this feels like too much on your knees, you can come onto your back and then hug your knees into your chest. Go ahead, start to center yourself through your breathing. So your attention pulls to your breath. Observe and check in with your energy right now. What kind of energy are you sitting with in your body and in your mind? Is it active? Is it calm? Just take notice. And then start to extend the arms forward. Tent your fingers so that the palms are lifting away from the mat and that your shoulders are lifting up towards your ears. Begin to deepen your breath here. Scan your physical body for what you feel. And on your next inhale, melt the palms down, look forward. And then shift your weight forward on two hands and knees. You can wiggle the hips side to side here and position the knees underneath your hips and your wrists underneath your shoulders. Good. Tops of the feet can stay down. For right now, we'll start in tabletop position. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose and firm up your belly. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. You'll feel a little constriction in the back of your throat. This time, tuck your toes under. Inhale, heavy your belly. Lift your heart and your chin. Exhale, tuck the toes round the back and then sink your hips back to your heels to return to child's pose. Inhale, come forward. Tuck the toes, heavy your belly. This is called cow pose. Think of a cow's belly. Exhale, 
exhale, press into the hands, flip the feet, sink the hips. Last one, ride the breath, inhale forward, lower the belly, scoop the heart up. Exhale, round the back and sink. Good. This time look forward, tuck the toes, inhale to high plank pose. So you'll come forward, engage the legs. See if you can press the mat away from you. Eyes are forward. Let's take two more breaths here. Using the body and the breath to start to focus your mind. And then tap the knees down to your mat. Sink your hips back to your heels, child's pose. Tuck the toes. Inhale, come forward, high plank. Exhale, back child's pose. This time, inhale, come forward, high plank. Exhale, take your right hand to your left shoulder. So you'll add a shoulder tap and then tap the right hand down. Second side, nice and slow. And tap down. Drop the knees down, sink the hips back to the heels, child's pose. Ideally, when you do those shoulder taps, you won't rock side to side much. I'm still working on that myself. Inhale, come forward, high plank. Exhale, tap and lower and then other side and lower tap the knees down child's pose hopefully some heat starting to build in the body look forward tuck the toes inhale and then press into the hands lift the hips up you can start with bent knees we're slowly making our way towards Downward facing dog, melting the heels down, dropping the head, pressing through your hands. Feet are traditionally about inner hips width distance apart. Maybe you need them a little wider. You can paddle out the knees here. Start to shake your hips side to side. Part of the practice of yoga is building awareness of your breath and your body so you can start to make the most intelligent decision for you. Good, and then inhale, look forward, high plank. Exhale, tap the knees back, child's pose. Inhale, let's come forward to cow pose. Tuck the toes under, scoop the belly up. Scoop the heart up. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Take the hands and crawl them back towards the feet. So let's get off the wrist, give them a little break. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift, look forward. See if you can inch the tailbone up. And then exhale, bow and fold. One more time like that. Inhale, lengthen. Now you can bend the knees if the legs aren't quite ready to be straight. Exhale, bow and fold. You're standing at the back of your mat. Softly bend the knees and rise all the way up to stand. Arms reach out around and up. I'm gonna flip my ponytail out of the way. Exhale, hands by your side. This is called mountain pose. Inhale, swoop the arms up. Exhale, bow and fold over the legs, straight or bent. Inhale, crawl the hands out to a high plank position. Firm up the belly and tap the knees down. Good. Pull the heart forward and then start to micro bend the elbows and then press right back up. Good. One more time. And this time we'll lower all the way down. So that's just warming up for a Chaturanga Dandasana. Untuck the toes. Good, keep the hands underneath the shoulders. Squeeze the elbows in towards the body. Inhale, lengthen your heart up. Exhale, paint your body back down. Two more times, inhale, arch the back. And exhale, lower. 
Last one. Inhale, arch, look up. Exhale, lower down. Tuck your toes, come to tabletop or high plank position. And then exhale back to downward facing dog. Let's take two more breaths here. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Walk the hands back towards the feet. So that'll engage the core. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, bow and fold. Rise up to stand, arms reach. Hands by your side, exhale. Swoop the arms up, inhale. Bow and fold into the legs, exhale. Lengthen, look forward and crawl the hands out. This time, option to tap down to your knees. Maybe you keep the knees lifted and the legs engaged and you bend the elbows lower to hover. You're looking forward. I was just looking at the screen. You can tap the knees down, untuck the toes, and then take a back bend here. Inhale the heart forward and up. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Another breath in and out. Good. Drop the knees down to the mat. Sink the hips back to the heels for a child's pose. Tent the fingers. And here, if you'd like, you can take your knees out a little bit wider, keeping the toes together. It'll be less of a rounding in the back and more of a lengthening. Good, and then walk the hands back. Find a comfortable seated position. And to round out this practice, we'll just take 10 breaths together. You can use blocks or sit up on something. You can stack your blocks. And sometimes I sit on the two stacked blocks and sink back on them. Taking pressure out of my hips and knees. Find a comfortable seated position for you. And then roll the shoulders up, back, and down. Allow the hands to rest somewhere that's comfortable. Decide if you'd like to fix your gaze or close your eyes. I'll pause here for 10 full breaths. Observe the energy of your body and your mind now.
observe whether or not there was any shift from either the movement or the 10 still breaths or both. Draw your hands to prayer in front of your heart. Honoring this little moment of mindfulness that you have now carved out for yourself. Checking in, observing. And allowing yourself just to be. May you find time to take even small pauses throughout your day and check in. Namaste. Namaste acknowledges that the light in me honors the light in each of you. And so when we say that to each other, we are mutually acknowledging this light, this energy, this spark inside of all of us. So I hope you enjoyed this little uh, class snippet. If you are interested in learning more about yoga or you want to try one of our classes at superhumansoul.com, um, please leave a comment or DM me, contact me, and have a beautiful, beautiful day.